This weekend, the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, made it clear that international travel should not be happening and made specific references to those travelling for leisure. International travel right now should not be happening unless it's absolutely mm. necessary. You know, no parties in Paris or weekends sure. in Dubai. That is not on. And in most cases, it's against the law. And so international travel should not be happening unless it is absolutely necessary. For instance, for a medical emergency. Now, one person who Hancock may have had in mind is Sheridan Mordew. She's a fitness influencer on Instagram who decided to travel from her residence in a tier four area to Dubai for what she calls an essential work trip. Um, she appeared on This Morning. Here she is explaining why she made that journey. The main reason was for my own self, uh, mental health kind of thing. So obviously during the second lockdown, I was really struggling. Um, being a motivator myself, obviously a lot of my clients depend on me to bring their motivation, to bring their happiness and all that. So as the third lockdown was coming in, obviously because I'm a business, because I'm a PT, I'm self-employed, um, I took the opportunity to think, right, well, my mental health suffering, what can I do? I need to motivate other people. It's not, I'm not going to start something new by just sitting in the house. And I had this idea and I just I could not be bothered. Like, I shouldn't really be seeing it because obviously a lot of my clients look up to me being, you know, Mrs. Motivator, but with my own self-struggles, I thought the only way I'm going to get out of this is to find the opportunity to get on a plane for essential travel yeah. and, and get out to Dubai. I love the, the phrase I really like there was, I couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be bothered. So she went to Dubai. She's saying, and you know, absolutely. I don't want to um, make light on anyone who has found the lockdowns in this country incredibly different. I'm, I, I know um, for a fact that the lockdowns we've had have been a huge weight on people's mental health. Um, but I think most right thinking people would think that probably in the middle of a global pandemic, you can deal with that issue without flying out to Dubai. Obviously, in this instance, um, this person has said, oh, no, this is, you know, this isn't against the rules. One, I want to. I can't be bothered not to. And two, it's allowed because it's essential work. She's saying, look, I'm an influencer. My job is to inspire people, to motivate people. I can't do that if I'm not inspired and happy. So therefore, I had to fly out to Dubai. Again, it's not clear she's broken the rules. This is another situation where the government's rules were way too lax, were much more lax than they needed to be. Um, we'll go to one more clip with her in a moment. First of all, um, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to Navara Media. Hit that subscribe button. We go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. And we put out a couple of videos a day. So make sure you are in this last clip, let's go to this. She gives her other defense that her work is essential because it's motivating people. So my job is to motivate people. Do you know what I mean? If I was going to be lazy, if I was going to sit back, if I didn't, if I couldn't be bothered to provide a service, sometimes it's a free service at the minute. I'm providing free workouts on my Instagram. Um, I could just sit back and just think, do you know what? I'll wait until the gym's open. But because I've See, got such a high demand of young girls that I want to do it. This image doesn't motivate me. It makes me feel utterly jealous. I'm just so jealous. I just I want mean, to feel the sun on my skin. That's all I want. I've lo I would love nothing no, that more than to do that. was essential. What you posted there was essential. But yeah, there's loads of videos on my Instagram. Obviously, that was just the one me riding a camel. But you know what I mean? Um, I think if you have had a look, obviously had a look at my Instagram, you see workouts. But I think in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And I think a lot of people forget about that. Um, and my job is to help people get fit and be motivational, whether it's in the house or it's in Dubai. But can I just say something? When um, you I say be kind, mind. like when we see how stretched the NHS is and those nurses that are working really, really hard and all they are saying is, please stay home, Please stay home. Do the right thing. Stay home. And you're saying be kind. Are you being kind to them by encouraging others to travel for what you deem as essential work? Yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily that I'm trying to influence, sorry, influence anyone to come out. It's just the fact that I'm doing my kind of thing. I mean, if anything, I'm getting people motivated in the house. I'm not saying, come on, let's get out, let's go outside. Like if I was in England, I could do, I could do classes outside. Aaron, would you, would you, are you motivated? You're in lockdown, obviously. Does it make you feel, you know, warmer? Does it, does it help you get through this difficult time to see people riding camels in Dubai? I mean, isn't it crazy, Michael? Imagine if we started broad, imagine if we all flew out, the Navarra media team flew out to Dubai or to Abu Dhabi <laughs> or to Java or whatever, or Vietnam or Thailand. And we said, oh, they wouldn't have us, by the way. We'd be, you know, we'd, we'd be a, effectively a biological weapon. And we said, we are broadcasting Tisky Sour Monday, Wednesday, Friday, live from the Al Burj in Dubai for your mental health. I mean, you, <laughs> have you ever heard a, a big load of bullshit in your life? I mean, it's just preposterous. I mean, it, it was ridiculous. What makes me laugh the most, though, is the fact that 
Philip Schofield was laughing at, you know, uh, Boris Johnson. You didn't really see him there because he's laughing at her too. But he was, he was, he was, he was taking an influencer who went, you know, on the back of a camel in the desert. He was taking her to task more than Boris Johnson last March. If only had had this journalistic rigor ten months ago, maybe we wouldn't be in such a desperate situation. But yeah, her, her argument was was utterly ludicrous. I mean, she's the whole thing about if you could be anything, be kind. I mean. Jesus Christ, that, that, that you know, th this kind of nonsense is what I think the West, Big W, is in deep trouble. We have idiots like this broadly shaping the culture. And that's why, that's why you know, this is the Asian century, Michael. It's, it's now become an all-purpose iconic excuse, hasn't it? Be kind. You know, if you're late for work, come on, be kind. If, you, if you've broken, that's actually what Dominic Cummings should have said. Maybe if he'd come out with that instead of I was testing my eyesight, people would have, you know, taken it better. Sorry, I, I drove to Durham, but, you know, be kind. It's worth saying she went in January, so it's only now that Hancock has been firm about international travel. And again, that's, I suppose, an important reminder to say, you know, we don't really want to be joining in the pylon against this particular person. Yeah, it seems like she's made a bit of a dumb decision and her explanation for it is terrible. <laughs> but at the same time, the government basically has been saying, you know, do what you want, travel is fine. And we've consistently heard this sort of real blending this real sort of diluting of what the concept of essential means essential work only only leave the house for essential work but you've got people working you know in estate agents in the office that could be doing that at home only only do essential things you know all shops are open if it's click and collect i mean not all of them. You, you walk around lots of them are if they sell some sort of food they get to call themselves essential i think the, the, the concept of what counts as necessary activity has sort of blurred in a really odd way and not always in one direction. I, I think in the not always in the same direction. I mean, I think in, in many ways the government has been way too strict with social activity that happens outside, especially in the first lockdown and especially the press have in terms of the moralizing about people going for a walk with friends. They've sort of said, oh, no, that's not essential. And then been way, way, way too lax about what counts as essential when money is being exchanged. Obviously, traveling to Dubai means money is being exchanged. And as we know, the government do have the airline industries um, in their ear. You can see why it's only now when they're under severe pressure from, from the public um, and their scientists that now they are completely changing their tune. Whereas, you know, before Christmas, they might have said, of course, yeah, it's great to have influencers going to Dubai because it supports the airline industry. Now they're becoming objects of, of hate and there's all of this moralizing about it, even though what's actually happened is a U-turn on the part of the government. Um, Aaron, your final thoughts on this beyond it representing the, the decline of the West? We've all got people we follow on Instagram. I, I've seen people in, in Dubai or whatever, and they're like drinking from a coconut or yeah, like on a, you know, with a snake or in a, you know, what do you think? And all the comments below are like, oh, I love you. This is great. I hope you're happy. And I'm thinking, what the hell is wrong with these people? Why aren't they angry? What is going on? What's going on? Right? They're just and happy it reminds people having fun. No, but it reminds me of, you know, the film Elysium, very good film. And you basically have this off world colony of the ultra rich and they have incredible technology and they don't grow old and they don't die. And they have these, these med bays that fix everything that's wrong with you. And then the rest of humanity lives on earth, racked by climate change and unemployment. It's just hell hole. And you know, people in on earth are trying to get to Elysium because it's obviously, it's basically, a, it's a, it's a, it's a parable about, I think borders and people seeking asylum in the 21st century. But what the film gets wrong is if this story is anything to go by, is that people wouldn't be upset with those in Elysium. They wouldn't be angry with the elites. They'd be going, oh my God, love you. Hope you're having a great time living to 400 and never knowing physical pain while I die at 25 from like, you know, skin cancer because there's no ozone layer left. Love you, kiss, kiss. That's, that's kind of what it, you know, Elysium, you got it, Matt Damon, you got it wrong. You'd have to do a remake, make Elysium too. Because the, the people on earth are so stupid that rather than despise the people oppressing them, they love them, you know, they elevate them. I don't think that's human nature, by the way, but th that's what those comments would, would, would have you think un underneath these people's profiles. And I also, I don't I think that we covered it, that, that, that same lady was saying, I employ three people, I create value. Blah. You don't create any value. The society would be absolutely fine without Instagram influencers, right? It's like with Navarra Media, the world would be a lot worse without journalists. That's why we do this, right? Good quality information, actually, we, we increasingly are recognizing as a, as a fundamental to, to democracy. Fine. 
would, would the world be any different without, you know, fully automated luxury communism, non-fiction book? Probably not. I mean, you need ideas to progress as a society, but it's not a public good like journalism is in terms of dissemination of accurate information. We don't need influences, no. It's, it's great we live in, in a society where they can exist, and I'm happy for you, but no, it's not necessary. I think maybe some, some influences probably do good work, you know, but it's, it's not essential enough to go to Dubai and ride a camel in the middle of a global it's pandemic. Not, it's not socially necessary. Like you can't compare it to care work or to cleaners or to food production or to, you know, roadside maintenance, etc. And by the way, those are the jobs that are paid the least and they should be paid the most because we need them more than anyone else. Thank you.